I'm Dick Niffing. This is the Monday evening KRQE.com webcast. We begin with Mark Ronchetti, who has the weather. Well, we had some cloud cover across eastern New Mexico today, kept temperatures down. The difference tomorrow will be the fact that we will not have that cloud cover, and we're going to end up very, very warm across the state here. 80s to the north, 90s for us down to the south, and any clouds and thunderstorm activity will be in Texas. Santa Fe police said a man who caused a SWAT standoff in the heart of the city today is a Rio Arriba County Sheriff's deputy. Just after 10 this morning, police say 35-year-old Brian Vigil robbed a pharmacy. Officers say it looks like he wanted drugs. After he fled from the store, he ran to a nearby field where he kept police at bay as he held a gun to his head, threatening to shoot. SWAT and hostage negotiators were called in. Businesses and a nearby elementary school were all put on lockdown. St. Vincent Hospital was sealed off. Vigil eventually surrendered and ended up being taken to that hospital for evaluation. An underage rave was busted early yesterday morning at an old movie theater in Carlsbad. The Pecos Valley Drug Task Force says 250 kids were inside, including some as young as 15. Also inside, drugs, alcohol, and strippers. The task force arrested 51-year-old Bradley Light. He was booked on drug charges. Three other men, Tony Fuentes, Eric Lopez, and Dominic Ornelas, were also arrested. Police seized 65 ecstasy pills, cocaine, meth, and marijuana at the rave. Join us for all the latest news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10.